Hello, my name is Amanda Fraga, and this is my case study presentation draft on the Dominican Republic. This is going to be an outline of the presentation because I do not have a text fully developed at this point. This slide is going to be an overview of the presentation. The first part is going to be facts about the Dominican Republic. The second part will be a brief history of the colonization, independent, and governmental changes in the country. The third part will be about the peoples of the Dominican Republic, and these are going to be my three in-depth topics. I will talk about the Cocolos indigenous group, the Haitian economic migrants, and the Dominicans in the tourism industry in the country. The last part will be a reflection. The first part of the presentation will be facts about the DR. Here I will include the national language spoken, which is Spanish, the population size, the major religions, which is Roman Catholicism, and is why I included pictures of um, the Basilica Catedral Nuestra Señora de la Alta Gracia, and the racial landscapes of the country. This slide will be a continuation of the previous one about facts from the DR. Here we'll be talking about the island that the Dominican Republic is on, which is the island of Hispaniola, which is shared with Haiti. And I'll talk a little bit about the capital, which is uh, Santo Domingo. This will be the second part of the presentation where I talk about the brief history of the colonization and independence of the Dominican Republic. This slide will talk about the founding by the Europeans of the island through Christopher Columbus's voyages in 1492. Here I will talk about the colonization of the Dominican Republic. Um, I have included pictures of the Taino indigenous group which was present before uh, Christopher Columbus founded the island in 1492 and I have included a picture of Christopher Columbus landing on the shores of the island as well. The Dominican Republic fell under the Spanish government until 1821 and here I will talk about the factors that influenced the drive towards independence by the Dominican natives. The first was the fact that Spain was heavily occupied with the Napoleonic Wars in Europe and they were also influenced by the Haitian Revolution which occurred on the west side of the island. These were all driving factors in the push towards independence and I will get into more detail on that in the final presentation. Latinini Tarian is a group that was important in the independence movement of the Dominican Republic. Its founder is Juan Pablo Duarte and most notably are his three main commanders in the organization, Matias Ramon Mella, Pedro Santana, and Francisco de Rosario Sanchez. They led an insurgency organization which fostered civilian support for the independence movement, and they were responsible for the taking of Puerta del Conde Four, which marked independence in the country on February 27, 1844, and I will provide more details on this event in the final presentation. This slide will briefly discuss the annexation by Spain on the island shortly after the Dominican Republic won its independence from Haiti. At this point, I will discuss the dictatorship by Rafael Trujillo, which occurred in the 1930s to the 1960s. It was a period marked of immense violations to human rights and incredible violence by the government on the civilians and the citizens of the Dominican Republic. And I will get into more detail on this dictatorship in the final presentation and provide more pictures as well. Here I will include information on the current political system in the Dominican Republic, the current president, and include pictures of the current pre president as well. This slide marks the third part of the presentation, which is peoples of the Dominican Republic. It will be broken up into three groups. The first will be Los Cocolos, the second will be the Haitian economic migrants, and the third will be Dominicans in the tourism industry. Los Cocolos is an Afro-Caribbean descendant migrant group from English-speaking Caribbean islands. Those are the Bahamas and Jamaica, for example. They are a group recognized for their dance style, which is a mix of dancing and um, martial arts. They are also recognized for their incredibly vibrant um, traditional outfits 
and their dance as well, which I have pictured here, a drawing of a celebration of the Cobolos. And here I've included a picture of their early settlement in the 20th century. And I will get into more detail on this group in the final presentation. The second group I will be discussing will be Haitian economic migrants in the Dominican Republic. I will talk about the sugar industry in the Dominican Republic and how it is so important for the economy and how Haitians came to dominate the production of sugar in the Dominican Republic and how the shift of dominance in the sugar industry shifted from Haiti to the Dominican Republic during the years of independence in 1804 to 1844 as well. I will also talk about the Bayetes, which um, really encapsulate the harsh working and living conditions that Haitians experience when working as sugar plantation workers in the Dominican Republic. And I will talk about the um, human rights violations that are going on currently um, in the Bayetes as well. The next group I will be discussing will be Dominicans in the tourism industry. Here I plan on including graphs comparing the percentages that different economic sectors contribute to the Dominican economy and tourism is one that is incredibly important. Here I have included pictures of uh, Punta Cana city beaches and I put these pictures to show why tourism in the Dominican Republic is so desirable and why it contributes so much to their economy because they have in very beautiful and picturesque beaches and incredible all-inclusive resort services that they receive from multinational international organizations and um, hotel businesses so for example i included the hard rock hotel the hilton in la romana and the hyatt in punta cana and these are to show the audience how foreign investment in the island has kind of pushed out Dominicans from the tourism economy when they used to benefit from it immensely. Now they are kind of reduced to the informal sector of the tourism industry and they are still currently being pushed out by the formal sector of tourism. So here I will include information on the informal sector. Those are private transportation services, so taxi drivers, vans, bus drivers, also private tour guides, solicitors on the beaches that offer water activities like boating, jet skiing, uh, kayaking with their own uh, equipment and also animal encounters that are very popular on the beaches people who own exotic animals who privately own exotic animals solicit tourists to take pictures with them and uh, pay for these kinds of pictures and i'll include pictures on this kind of tourism as well in this slide i will talk about how the 2019 resort scandal has impacted the tourism industry before the pandemic. I will include a news headline about the death of American tourists while staying at all-inclusive hotels in the Dominican Republic, and this was the scandal that I am referring to. I will include more information on this in the final presentation, along with the impact of uh, COVID-19 on the tour tourism industry. I will include pictures and graphs that display the financial losses due to the pandemic and the impact that it's had on citizens that participate in the tourism industry in the island. The final part of my presentation will be a reflection and in the reflection I have included the reasons why I picked the Dominican Republic as my case study nation and it is because I had very little knowledge of the island and the country before starting this class. I feel like the history and government structure of this island is not really taught in schools and in education systems in the United States. I feel like we mostly have a very mono thought on the island, which is that they're just a tourist dependent island. Many people do not know about their dependence on sugar for the economy. I have included pictures of famous singers who are descendants 
of the Dominican Republic. One of them is Cardi B, and the other is a Latin pop singer, Osuna. <clears throat> this is to kind of show how we have a very basic knowledge on the island. We really only think of these two um, individuals and um, pretty beaches when we think of the Dominican Republic. And so I think it's really important to do more research on the island because they are very <clears throat> relevant in the Caribbean and very influential in the region of the Caribbean and Latin America as a whole, especially in the tourism industry. And so I have included that and I plan on including more pictures of the island and um, different points that I've mentioned in the presentation. I wanted to include more pictures on those points in the app. Here are my sources. This is the end of the presentation, but I wanted to make a note that I plan on including more pictures and more detailed information. The presentation is more based off of pictures. It is not like a PowerPoint presentation with text on the screen. So I will be writing a script, a loose script, to go off that is concise and i will also be including soft music in the background of the video that doesn't overpower my voice of course uh, but i just wanted to make a note of that and thank you so much for listening to my outline have a great day